Hi here, Ralph here, Noise Busters. Um, this video is the next episode of Bitwig Basics, and this time I show you a bit why, or explain a bit why they have different colors here in the browser, and um, also show you a bit about modulators. Um, so in the browser you can see that there are different colors here and and um, these ones are for plugins and audio effects and the yellow one are for instruments and then from the internal bitwig they made separate ones for the drums as well which are green and then you have different symbols also um, for this one for a drum machine which is a sampler with 128 slots and then you have gray symbols here as well which are containers so, um, it's expecting that you throw something in and then modulate something um, with it so that are the containers and then also if you go to the plugins, um, you see that you have um, two different types of symbols. One is with this orange plug, so that's a plug-in instrument, and then this one's with the blue icon here. These are VST3 plugins. So you <coughs> also see that in the browser if you are opening a VST2 or 3, that's quite handy. And so and then you have the node effects which are transforming MIDI information. So if you press a node or playing a melody, then these plugins are used for um, changing that what you play. And then we have also modulators, which are, for example, I open a synthesizer from Bitwig, and then you have this little error where you can open a menu here with the plus sign. And if you press the plus, then it shows all the modulators available. And you can use them for changing any parameter on the synthesizer or effect. It's very quick and easy to work with. And also the modulator itself has a menu. If you click that arrow, it opens up here and then you can change settings. You can change the waveform here, like from the LFO, for example. And then you can also change um, other settings from this modulator with another modulator if you like for example like this so you get different shapes and different modulation settings and this works with um, synthesizers or it also works with any audio effect so I open a flanger from T16 and here you have that menu as well so you can change anything what you want with the modulators and of course it works with VST synthesizers as well. So I hope that helps a bit more. Um, try stuff out, let me know um if you have any questions just write me and subscribe to the channel please bye